Hi viewers everywhere, we're gonna prepare together chicken by crust. Let's prepare it and bake it. We need the three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder. We're gonna mix our all dry ingredients together. I'm gonna mix my all-purpose flour with four ounces vegetarian lard cut in small cubes. This process will take some. My lard is out from the fridge, so it's cold. I'm gonna just drop it in, just by hand, like so, until all the flour become like sandy st structure. Simple process. We can use a cutter, fork, knife, whatever you're up to, but I find it much easier to go the natural way using bare hands. See, our flour is ready. If we can put it together, it will stick. We just need little help. I have ice water here in hand. It was in the freezer. See the ice? I just need some ice water to mix it in my dough. So it remains cold. We continue to knead our dough with the ice water. Hard to deal with it with ice water, but we want this dough to stick together so it become uniform crust and that's what I'm doing here we'll let it relax for half an hour then we'll continue kneading it on the cutting board we have cutting board here we dust it with the flour we want to reserve little bit piece for the top of the pie we want it as rectangle shape I'm gonna shape it a little bit on the side and then I start with my roller. I have flour on the side so I can dust my roller all the time. We want our dough to stick together so on the side we just take it in. We have the help of the knife to bring the side closer. In order to have uniform shape from time to time I put some flour very careful if we want to flip it upside down and roll the knife away our dough starts spreading around which is good sign of healthy dough I want it though to spread lengthwise not in the width I'm gonna carefully wet this side so stick together just continue to roll it until it's big enough for our mold. I noted this side is thick side, so I can roll in that direction. So I'm gonna size it up. I have to fix that side a little bit. I wait this side and they will put it in here. I have to batch this side. Not intimidated by dough, the dough should listen to us. Not bad. Now I have my molding Pyrex. I'm gonna spray it with some palm oil. It helps to slide the product away when it's ready. I'm gonna slide my dough into the mold like so so simple now I got to maneuver it around push it from this side it goes out on that side notice I have axes on one side they have short on the other side so I'm gonna remove the axis from the other side and put it on the short side I can use the dough straight by adding the filling, but I'm gonna bake it before I add any filling or any product into it so it wouldn't get soggy on us. I'm gonna add my beans just to help me to have better mold. Some dry beans on the top of wax paper. It will secure the dough in the place. 
and then I can remove them and nothing will happen to the bean they are dry beans I can reuse them later on dry chickpea beans I'm gonna put it in the oven at temperature 350 for 20 minutes then we continue using the product for any filling we wanted we got our pie from the oven in 20 minutes now we have to be very careful because this wax paper check our pie it's really solid close to raw at the bottom it's hardly cook at the bottom because of the beans but cook on the side and shrink so it stay with the mold we wrap our top the same way we are gonna dust the cutting board with a flour so we are gonna cut it into strips so eventually on the next video we are gonna use our pre-baked crust we put our filling inside then we top it with our strip and we bake it again in the oven create cooking channel present to you the chicken by crust made from scratch hope you like it follow me on twitter and facebook i'm waiting for your comment chef asak bye bye